Okay, in this video, we will talk about how to create prolog rules recursively. Okay, so if you remember from my previous videos, we we talked about how to create rules, facts, and, and other stuff, right? So let us try to create another way of rule creation. Okay, let us try to discuss another way of rule creation today. Okay, now for that we will we will start with the same program. Till now we have written for our for our this one right so we are we are talking about a family tree over here right and we have defined a we defined lot of facts and lot of rules over here right corresponding to offspring mother grandparent those kind of stuff okay now let us try to introduce a new concept okay and let's see how we can define that rule in prolog okay i just wanted to set up the ground for recursive definition of the rule so for that what we'll do is we will try to see a we will try to create a new rule called predecessor okay predecessor okay so now if if we think about this particular relation so relation over here okay there are there are two cases coming up in our mind case 1 let's let's write it about this one and case 2 okay now case one could be very simplistic case where a parent is all it's always a predecessor of this of its child right that means if i just talk about tom and bob over here tom not only the parent of bob it also the predecessor of bob as well right now let us let us try to see this particular chain over here pam bob pat and jim okay now if you see it over here for jim Pat, Bob, and Pam all are predecessors, right? That means when I when I talk about parents of parent, right? Those are those are predecessor as well. Okay, so case one we are talking about case one we are talking about a relationship something like this for all for all x and z. Okay, so if x so x is a predecessor okay of z if x is parent of z right x is parent of z this is the simplistic case we are talking about now case 2 is if i just write in in, in terms of mathematical logic so for all x and z similar way okay x and z okay now x is predecessor of z so if i just just copy this this line over here okay x is predecessor of z if if let's say let's give it a name over here okay so if x is parent of z okay x is parent of y okay that means there is a y if i if i just go back to our diagram over here we are talking about the predecessor of jim over here right so that means or let's say we are asking this question is pam is predecessor of jim right which is essentially true right so that means we are basically talking about there is a y okay where x is parent of y okay and y is predecessor of z here here x is our pam and z is jim over here right that means we are finding a guy who who is basically child of x over here that means x is parent of that y over here right we are finding a third person over here who where x is parent of that guy okay and y is the predecessor of jim over here right because between bob and jim there is another guy called pat over here right if you see it this this way of defining something right so let, let us first write it down over here okay so x is parent of y that means we are finding a guy where x is parent of y and and y is predecessor of 
z over here right so this is this is important now if you see it over here in the in the second way of defining the predecessor relationship right the second case we are basically talking about the predecessor keyword itself when a, when we are defining the rule right when the define the rule body over there right so so let us let us write it down this this two rules in prolog terms okay so we will go to our our same code base over there okay so we will write a rule called predecessor okay predecessor of x and z okay now here we will introduce another another concept let, let me write, let me write it down these two rules first okay so this is how we are defining a rule right colon then dash now what is according to our first case x has to be the parent of z right this is this is the first case that means we are basically in the body of the rule okay parent of x comma z over here so this is the this is the first case we are talking about right now according to the second case let us write it down now if you see it over here i am writing the rule name same x comma z over here x comma z here okay so colon dash okay now if you see it i am giving the same name because the relationship is same over here and this is this way of defining a relationship where you have more than one clauses for a particular relation called procedure as well okay but but this is a some some terms we we call it but essentially we are defining more than one clauses for a particular relations over here till now whatever we have defined we we have only single clause for a particular relationship right now here we are defining more than one clauses over here okay so according to our second case x will be the parent of y right so that means if i just write it down over here parent so there is a y which is child of x right if i just talk about this particular relationship okay and also y is the predecessor of z right so if our case z is jim and y is bob right that means y is also a predecessor of g z over here so let us copy this one or let's say pretty predecessor okay so y is also predecessor of z over here we will see like why this particular rule works okay we'll see that one but but if if you think about it like rec recursive way of writing a program is a very fundamental nature of computer programming right so th th that is what we are doing it over here in the prolog right that means we are defining a rule basically in terms of itself over here if you see it over here and and if you see it over here in the in the swi prolog it is basically underlining this this particular relationship name over here right the predecessor to show like it is it is defining defined in terms of itself only thus the it is showing the recursion basically now let us first see whether whether this particular things works or not then we will see why it is working okay so we will compile first now we will go to swi prolog now let us let us let us check it out in a check it out whether a simplistic case works or not okay so we will we will say like tom and pat let's say okay tom or ann also we can we can do any anything is fine okay so we are asking a question to prolog whether tom is predecessor of pat or not okay very simplistic question right so let us try to let us see what prolog is saying okay so we will call we will give a goal call something like this predecessor okay we will the first argument is tom and the second argument is let's say pat okay so let me let me try to see tom and pat yeah so if i just call this one if you see prolog is saying true over here so that means our our rule our rule has been working over here now let us see why it is working okay so basically we asked this question right with this particular goal over here right so predecessor tom comma pat 
right so we are basically talking about this this particular chain over here right so now so we, we we asked this particular question now if you see we for predecessor we have defined we have defined two rules over here right one is the predecessor which is the direct parent and the predecessor in terms of itself right now when i talk about tom and pat okay now prolog will try to find something like this one now tom is parent of bob right so now if i just if i just write it down over here according to the case number 1 to if i just say parent of tom comma bob okay because there is a y involved over here okay so now this is this is a fact right because tom tom is parent of bob now this is also defined over here right because if i if i just if i just see like this this particular rule because when prolog is answering the question right it is it is basically consulting with all these facts and rule over here right so tom is parent of bob this is a fact over here which we have defined over here right so this is always true right so this is a fact that means always true over here right so now if this particular relationship is true that means according to the rule number 1 if i just go back over, over here again so we 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 already saw tom is parent of bob over here that means tom is predecessor of bob that is also true right so we can we can write something like this so this does this means predecessor okay tom is also predecessor of bob correct because of this fact because this is fact and this is the body of this predecessor rule according to the first rule right so that means this is also true over here right so this is also true okay so we we establish that parent of tom and bob means predecessor of tom and bob over here right now let us let us try to see according to the rule number 2 over here okay so if i if i just go back over here again according to the rule number 1 so x is tom and z is pat over here right so as as we already already seen it over here we are passing we are basically our main goal was to find it out whether tom is predecessor of pat or not right so in between we introduced bob over here just to establish a fact that if tom is parent of bob that means the predecessor tom is predecessor of bob as well that is also true right now if i if i just write this particular rule this particular rule according to the second definition we have it right the second line we have it so that means parent of x and y and y here we introduce bob because of that same reason bob is our y over here right so if i just write something like parent okay tom comma bob tom is our x bob is our y over here right and predecessor okay now predecessor in the predecessor portion what what we are sending we are sending y and z right so our y is bob over here correct and our z is pat over here correct so now the rule is becoming something like this now right now we already established this guy is true over here right now let's let's try to see whether this guy is true or not if that is true then we can directly say tom is definitely a predecessor of pat right now bob and pat if i just go to our code again bob is parent of pat right so we can write by the same logic parent bob is parent of pat over here right so this is a fact which we have defined as a fact in our program right so that means according to this logic whatever we have discussed bob is predecessor of pat right that is also true that means here it will be bob and here it will be 
pat right so this guy is also true correct so if this guy is true that means we are talking about true here right and according to this particular rule this is true right so that means we can say this whole clause is true over here that means we can say tom is a predecessor of pat over here that is how this is how prologue is basically finding it out internally the rule the it is basically how it is processing that particular rule internally okay so so we have seen basically how to define a rule in terms of itself so basically we have seen like how to recursively define a rule in prologue okay hopefully this video is helpful see you in next video